Welcome to Real Fucking Reviews Episode 1. Although I'm stoked on a lot of what goes on on YouTube, I feel like dudes are a little too puffy at times, but it's like even when the character sucks, they're like, yeah, you know, it's still pretty okay, and he's still pretty cool in this way, and blah, blah, blah. And when you're dropping two, three hundred bucks a guy, four hundred in some cases, I have some goddamn expectations, so I don't know about you. However, if you want to hear who's badass and who's shit, it's what I'm here to talk about. So let's get started. Okay, Nick Fury. Nick Fury from Winter Soldier is badass. He comes with a ton of accessories. He has everything you could possibly think of as far as the thumb drive, the cell phone, just all the super cool shit if you want to rebuild the scene, which is obviously something I'm kind of into. So, Maria Hill. Maria Hill's rad. She has, like, super cool outfit. Hot Toys always kills it on the outfits. She's really well done in that regard. She has some accessories. As far as accessories, she's got, you know, the gun, the earpiece, the walkie-talkie. You didn't really see her with a lot else in the movie, but still, they could have included, I don't know, a park outfit or something to make it a little cooler. And I know that she's, like, an exclusive and hard to get, but... I don't know. She's is she 220 bucks worth of character. I don't know. I'm kind of on a fence with her. She's cool to have to round out the scene, but outside of that, she's not so fucking excellent as a figure that you should rush out and spend two and a quad, 250 on it. Colson from Hot Toys. Now this is a custom Colson. The reason why is because he came with the control center from Madbox. I got well, not from Madbox. I got it off eBay and they threw him in and. He's fine for rounding out the scene, no problem. Um, as far as the real Coulson, what does he really come with? A fucking deck of Captain America cards? You kidding me? I mean, it's, I get it. They're trying to like figure out something to throw in. You know, I would have preferred something like a, a different suit, maybe or whatever. You know, it's like something for what they're charging. They can throw in a little bit more, and they often do. I thought they should have added more Agents of Shield shit, like done like a crossover type of gig, something like along those lines, just to fill him out the captain america cards and all that shit was just a little weak for the asking price in my mind but whatever as far as the character he's cool i'm kind of 50 50 on him i get it if you need him to round out your scene but he kind of comes at a fucking premium for what he is in my mind spider-man spider-man is the shit the guy is super poseable super rad like comes with a bunch of accessories even though i didn't really care for that movie or that dude playing Spider-Man. I'll take, like, Tobey Maguire, the new kid. New kid's fucking rad. Spider-Man, amazing, too. Totally worth it. Get him. He's also cheap now, man, because the movies aren't weren't a hit. But the character himself is rad. And since they don't have a Civil War version, I think this one's the closest. The other one's just, mm, kind of the silver on the Tobey Maguire one, although it looks cool. You can't really sell it in a scene with the new Civil War movie, and I want to build a big-ass Civil War diorama, so I grabbed this one. I'm super psyched on him, and I researched the other ones. I think this one's the shit. Amazing, too, for the win. So if you're looking for a Spider-Man, that's my pick. I highly recommend it. Iron Man, Mark 43. 43 is cool. I mean, he came with some cool shit. I'm using it in a different dial right now. Um, the accessories. What I really like in the Iron Man series is the 42. Yeah. The 42, it comes with so many accessories, man. Just so many, like, from... All the old Iron Man guys used to come with, like, a set of fresh armor and a set of battle damage armor, basically. And it was rad. I mean, it just made it so worth it that you could get that many different looks out of the same character. And they usually came with a Robert Downey head and an Iron Man couple face plates, you know? <laughs> and that was rad when you could do that. Because it just, again, gave you so many options and like, how to pose him and scene selection and uh, all of it. And that's, like, what you're buying with Hot Toys. When you're dropping two fucking fifty on a guy, he better be able to be reusable in a way or two. You know, I could spend 20 bucks on a Star Wars black if I'm just going to pose them in the one pose they'll do and call it a day. 
But the Iron Man 43 is pretty cool. I'm going to give him, like, as far as Iron Man goes, about mm, a 7. The main reason I got him is for the release of the Hulkbuster. I want to be able to stuff him inside that fucker and not use the little lame headpiece they give you. So that was pretty much the only reason I purchased the 43. Am I bummed on him? No, I'm not. Any of the newer Iron Mans that are done with the, the steel as opposed to the plastic, the engineering is pretty goddamn impressive. It's like it's a marvel. And the fact that they do this much for a toy, fucking wow, guys. Like, high five. You guys kick ass. But, um, I don't know. The 43, as far as Iron Man goes, if it's if you're only getting one or two, I would recommend others because you can just get so much more out of them. Age of Ultron, War Machine, Mark II. I think this is the only one worth it right now. Um, the War Machine Mark I steel die cast is coming, and that one just looks, oh my god, beefcake and fucking rad. It's huge. The dude just, ah, uh, he looks tough. I mean, check out Budget's review. Budget Stark is the shit. But yeah, that dude, uh, he sees, he shows a lot of stuff, and it's very, very cool to take the time. In any case... Age of Ultron, Mark II, is a badass fucking war machine. He is super cool. He's battle damaged and a little darker than the other one. The big deal is that he comes with the Don Cheadle head sculpt. And let's take a moment on that. What the fuck were you thinking, Hot Toys, releasing a character that expensive, brand new, without a Don Cheadle head sculpt? I mean, so weak on the, you know, Iron Man 3 war machine Mark II or... Whatever the previous version was this. I think it was Iron Man 3. In any case, they didn't give you the head sculpt. And that's just kind of fucked in my mind. What are you supposed to do with him? The Ultron one is not only better in the darker shade of gray. I think that's a big deal. The battle damaging is awesome. The character itself is bitching. He's everything you'd expect from a diecast Iron Man. Just the only reason you get Ultron over the other one is the Don Cheadle head sculpt. And that's the biggest deal part of it. And for me, I just can't even see having a war machine that does not have that. That's kind of an asshole move by Hot Toys. But if you're seeing them on eBay and the Iron Man 3 version's a little cheaper, that's why. Next one I want to talk about is Tony Stark, the mechanic. The mechanic's cool. I mean... I'll tell you what's rad about the mechanic is that it came with so many accessories. Again, I mean, any part, if you wanted to, like, diorama out that little pond and have him just coming in and whip an ass on a bunch of dudes in suits, you could totally do it because he has all those little tools and gadgets from the movie. And that's super cool. Um, yes, his chest lights up the arc reactor thing. Great. Um, his outfit's super rad. It's super convincing. Shoes are dirty. I mean, just they just do cool little shit at Hot Toys. The other thing is that they're all their clothes fit. Like, I have a Tony Stark custom mechanic down that you'll see in a minute. And just the way that the clothes are tailored, they're, they're getting closer to doll-like instead of that realism that Hot Toy gives you. And uh, very cool on that end. But as far as the mechanic, dude, you can get them for like 120 bucks if you're hunting on eBay. So mega value on this dude i personally changed the head sculpt to one of the new ones it's like the mark 43 quarter scale shrunk down so he has this like kind of pissed off look and dig on it i don't know look at concentration i guess but yeah it worked for the diorama totally stoked on the figure he's rad a must buy especially for how cheap he is and, like all the shit you get with him so big win on the mechanic iron man construction version the Mark III construction version is super cool, but you know what? I got to throw a warm fuck you out to Hot Toys for not having the base light up. Thanks again, guys. Half, <laughs> you're just always rolling the dice with Hot Toys, you know? It's like, what's going to be broken or missing? But whatever. Most of the time you come out ahead, just it's like every tenth one they decide to surprise you. The Mark III construction, the only reason I really got him is to make this diorama out before I had my Mark 42 in there, and I wanted him back because he's the shit he's such a good figure so yeah i bought this thing to throw in there and it's cool because the rest of them lights up or i would have you know freaked out but since the rest of them lights up good enough i don't really need the the base lights because i have lights surrounding the thing and it really rounds off the scene man so if you just need like that diorama look something cool in the background it's a great way to go man and if you hunt around you can probably get it down to like 170 180 bucks so worth having in that regard. 
Captain America strike suit is one okay he's my like hard one because he looks cool the outfit's cool but you cannot like fucking pose him to save your life with the Captain America strike suit he's an awesome looking figure but fuck you guys on the posability with this one Hot Toys you screwed me again because what's the use of having a super cool looking figure if all he can do is stand upright I really had to like bend this dude to the point that I didn't give a shit about breaking him or ruining the suit to get one cool pose out of him the one upside of this dude is that he's cheap if you look around you can get him for like 160 180 bucks and at that point if you're running out of shit to collect and you want to do something cool he might be worth it you could also do some maybe some suit modifications if you really wanted to get some power pose out of him but you understand you're gonna trash a figure i mean he's just resale fodder at that point you know lucky to get 50 100 bucks out of him this one if you're looking for a captain america there are far better figures if you're looking for a Captain America to have two of, there are far better figures. <laughs> like, this dude's kind of low in the ranking of Captain America figures available. So, although he looks cool, I would tell you guys to pass if you're only getting, say, two Captain Americas. Because there are definitely two better ones than this piece of shit. Thank you again, Hot Toys, you stingy bastards. This isn't Hot Toys the fucking movie, so we're going to have to move into part two to keep this shit short and to the point. Thank you so much, and see you in the next vid, guys.